Hello again, this is Ant-Man 20 on Able. Bring you a quick video looking at uh, a couple of different sharpening knife sharpening systems that I've got over the time and um, just a selection of different ways of doing it but in the end you end up with pretty sharp knives. I think originally two three years ago something like that I bought uh, this system this is just the basic Lansky and I've got the other stones for it but I just put this one in here for to show. It works pretty well it's one of it's called a fixed angle sharpening system because you adjust the different angles in here you got 20 degrees and so on and the knife clamps down in here and you sharpen away and then you can turn the clamp upside down and sharpen the other side of the knife sort of thing and works pretty well um, and started sharpening knives and that sort of thing and but it is a bit on the slow side and uh, when I get a few customers knives in and I do a couple knives for neighbours or that sort of thing they learnt that I do sharpening but it's a bit on the slow side but it does work and gets the knives reasonably sharp uh, then uh, later on I bought the, the workshop this is just the basic model works really well with the belts uh, these are the belts that came with it they're starting to get a bit worn so I just bought a new set they weren't overly expensive sort of thing got a new set of belts workshops work work pretty well this is just the basic model is stick the knife either side there's plenty of videos on how this works and there's the belt there it is adjustable and um, it'll rotate out to the side so I've sharpened a few axes with it out like this and works really well so just rotate that back on oh, no, it's locked in there uh, just... there we go lock it back in position it all comes it comes with another adapter where you can do scissors 65 degrees there's 50 degrees for a bit thicker knives but the standard the standard plates um, 20 degrees aside so I'm quite happy with this system as well it uh, tends to do the convex knives because of the flex in the belt but convex knives are good but it is more of they refer to as a high speed sharpening system so and works well that sort of thing got a couple hand sharpening oh the sun's glaring a bit there this is the dc4 from falcon even uh works really well just to have it this is the diamond side and the smooth side just to touch up the knives you just want a little bit of touch up on them these dc4 or dc3 is a bit smaller and i just recently on the weekend got the workshop these, these have been around for a couple of years and i've been just trialing it uh just testing it here over the weekend last couple of days and quite surprised it works really well it's got some variations in here you can do a thin rod ceramic rod variations uh, the ceramic rod turns around so you can do a coarse and fine tells you on then there fine coarse and for hooks got a little groove in there doing hooks these plates come off and they can you can buy new ones if you want just held in by a magnet I uh, can't do one handed a little bit of leather strop on the side so it's quite a convenient tool if you wanted to use something like that and just didn't want say a DC4 which is quite good too but um, a while back I bought the Spyderco sharp maker this is a great tool particularly if the knives already got an edge on them and they're just going a bit blunt so basically I just use the rods like this the kitchen knives at home I'm going to touch them up on this change it into the white rods and then do stropping this is just my strop it's just a leather belt I've got I don't have it even glued on the wood but it works well for me I can got a bit of buffing compound on here but I left the belt long but sometimes I just strop on the plain leather as well just to brings up that real fineness of the knife so I'm a definite believer in stropping once you've sharpened your knives whatever system you might use Uh, get into the stropping this just a leather belt cut it out you do it there this uh, on the wood don't need to buy any special leather so but I'm told apparently different leathers do work better but then I've uh, seen on YouTube people just use a piece of cardboard they could do whatever but by all means get into the stropping so my sharp maker great tool well worth the money to get that particularly if the knives are just a little bit blunt you're not trying to 
put a new edge on them or something like that. So you just limit it to 35 and 40 degrees, which is more than adequate. That's both sides, so it's like 20 degrees per side and 17 degrees per side. You can stick it out the end here and do a bit of sharpening. And also you can put them, put the rods on the back. I'll just flip this over. And you put the rods in the grooves there. And do it like a normal stone. So do it like a small stone, sharpen the knife. There, it's a re really great idea. They must have sold like thousands and thousands of these sharp. Well worth the money. And I've just recently bought myself some stones. These are Neary wet stones. Uh, they're water stones. And the two grits I got, I've got the 240, uh, this one. Uh, they're double sided stones, so I've got a 240 800 grit. And then I went to the 1000 3000 grit, so that should be good enough. It also goes right down here, it says on the box you can get right down to an 8000 grit, which is really super fine. So I'm just interested in learning some skills about freehand sharpening using whetstones. It says on the box here that you have to let them soak for about five minutes before you use them, that's why I've got this tray. Both stones will fit in there. And fill up with water, let them sit for a few minutes, and then get them out and start sharpening what I do. It already comes with a rubber foot, so you don't need to do anything. Put them in this tray, a bit of water, the tray is high enough that I'll just grab a knife here so the knife fits. So I can so on, uh, see, with that, there's some great videos on YouTube by Virtuo Voice, a big brown guy. Got some great videos on how to use freehand sharpening of wet, of wet stones and water stones. And uh, Dutch Bushcraft Knives, uh, got a couple uh, sharpening videos as well. So, so far, these are my sharpening things. They're basically all sharpened knives, but it's just interesting to do. And I'm interested in getting uh, a Tormac T4, but it's quite a bit more money than what I've got tied up in just these systems here. But uh, particularly if I start getting a few more customers who want their knife sharpened, uh, the Tormax uh, be a lot quicker. It uses um, stones, which uses water, low speed, so it's cool, sharpening. And it's a fixed angle device as well, so uh, fixed angle, so it combines a fixed angle system along with wet stones and provides a very good sharpening, so, and do honing and a bit of stropping, so. We'll see how it goes in the future. I might end up getting a Tormac and then be able to do a couple of videos on that as well. So here's my sharpening system. Very good. And as I'm learning more about knives and knife steels and angles and that sort of thing, it's uh, quite an interesting hobby. So Sandman to Enable, thanks for watching. Remember, stay alert, stay prepared, stay ready. Endure to the end, particularly in this crazy times we live. Bye bye for now.